Okay, so we have question 20 here of 2024 GCE paper 1. So we are asked to... So this is the question. In the diagram below, A, B, and C are the points, are three points on the level ground. The bearing of B from A is 137. As you can see, B from A is 137. The bearing of C from B is 250. And the angle ACB is, uh, what's the angle of this? 35, this one. Okay, 35 degrees. Now, we are asked to find the bearing of A from B. Okay, the bearing of A from B. So let's let's do this. Let's extend this one so that we discover something and let's also extend this one. Now look at this. Let me use a different color. This side here 137 is equal to this side. From here from here up to this straight line is also 137. These are alternative angles. It's like this. Okay. This angle here is equal to this angle. So even here is 137. So what we can do is let's first know the angle from here up to here. Let's do this. So we can add 137 plus the straight line, which is 180. Because when you extend this one like this, this, is, this side is 180. So you can say, since we are calculating for A, so we can say A, we can add 137 plus 180. Where are we getting the 137? This 137 here is equals to this side up to here. Okay? But, the bearing is A from B. So from here up to the line connecting A and what? A and B. And what we know is that we are given the bearing of C from B as 250. Okay? But we, can, we know that the straight line is out of one, it was 180. Then this angle here is 170. So let's, let's find, let's find, um, let's just add these two. So... When you add the 2, we are going to have 0 plus 7 is just 7. 1 plus uh, um, 18. 8 plus 3 is um, 11. So you can just say 1. 1 carry 1. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So 317. This is giving me 300 what? 317. Okay. It's giving me 317. As simple as this. Now, some of you may use different methods. Uh, hey, you can still find the same answer. Different methods. What, what do I mean different methods? You can find this angle here. They need subtract it from 180. This angle is also equal to this angle. Okay? Since this is a straight line and it's 180, and if out of 180 we are given 137, so you can subtract 137 from 180. So we can just say 180 minus 137. Okay. We're going to have um, this will be 7. 10 minus 7 is simply 3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Then 7 minus 3 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this angle here, let me even label it so that. It, uh, you understand what I'm talking about. This is 43. Is 43? Yes. 43. So if here is 43, even here is also what? 43. Then you can just subtract from three, this from 360, then you'll find this angle, the remaining angle here. So we can say 360, which is a complete 10, minus 43. Am I right? Okay. Yes. So you can say 0 minus 3, you can just get 1 from 6, and this becomes 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. 5 minus 4 is 1. And you are remaining with 3. 317, you see? Even this 
where we will still find the same answer, 300 what? 317. Now, let's go to the second question. The second question is, um, so B here, they're saying, find the bearing of A, where is A? Here, A, from C, from here, C. Now, let's just draw the north at C so that it helps, uh, it helps us to find the bearing. So, let's just do this. Then, from here, let's draw the line up to the line connecting. What? Connecting, um, what's this? A, A and C. So, they, in other words, they're asking us to find this angle here, here, this angle, this smaller angle. Now, you can also use alternatives here, alternative angles, alternative angles. Look at this. If you know this angle, which is here, uh, here, you can know this angle. Okay? You can know that angle. So, so, yeah, like I said, that um, there are a lot of ways you can find, but you usually go um, with the method that is the, the shortest, okay? So, like I said that this shape, if something is like this, this angle is equal to this angle. We can still apply that principle. You can say, this angle here, this angle is equal to this angle. Let me use the different color so that you understand. This angle here is equal to this angle. From here where the north is up to this line connecting C and B. Okay? So if we can find this angle, okay, then it will be easy to find this one. Now, how can you find this angle? It is very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Let's just subtract um, 180, 180 from 250. Then we find this angle. You see? So let's just subtract 180 from 250. So let's say, let's just write 250 minus 180. We'll find this angle. When you find this angle automatically, this angle, we'll find it. Then it will give... Um, um, it will be easy to find the uh, question they're asking us to to find. Okay? So, so 250 minus 180, it is what? It is 70. This is giving me 70 degrees. Okay? 70 degrees finding this angle. Okay? Now, this is not our answer. It is just telling us, this is just telling us that from here up to here is 70. Now, out of 70, we've been given 35. So, we just have to subtract 35 from 70. You can say 70 degrees minus 35 degrees, which is therefore giving us 35 degrees. But remember, um, bearings are written as three digits, what in numbers. So this is just 35 and it will be 035 or 035. And this is the final answer. Okay. So from here up to, from here, north up to here is 70. Out of 70, we will know 35. The 35 plus 35, it is what? It is 70. So that's it to, to this question. If you have, if you have questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay. If you still, if you have challenges with bearings, uh, then be on pressure. You can request for uh, another video. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, guys, and also liking the video. This will help our channel grow and also being recommended to other viewers as well. Thank you so much. As we go to, to the next question.